What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video we're going to be doing my July week three budget check-in where I go through all of my spending in my envelopes. These are digital envelopes because I am a digital budgeter. I just use a spreadsheet to keep track of everything. But we're going to go through all of my spending from July 15th through the 21st. So let's go ahead and get into it. So on the 15th, we did spend money on groceries. So we went to Kroger and spent $320.59 on food and household products. So that came out of our grocery fund. We also paid for our gas bill this day. So this is the gas for our house to heat um, and all of that good stuff. So that was $54.86 and that came out of our house bills fund. I also paid my boys for their chores for the previous week. So this was for Logan and Liam, the chores that they did, they earned $28. So that came out of my boys spending account. And then I also purchased iCloud storage because I've been having difficulty with my videos lately. I usually use an app called VLC to get my videos that I record from my phone to the computer. It's like a Wi-Fi sharing thing and it hasn't been working recently. So I downloaded or I paid for extra iCloud storage and I've been getting my videos from my phone to my computer that way and that has been working a little bit better. So that's $2.99. I did take that out of my spending and that will be like a monthly recurring fee. I also bought myself a new camera mount because I broke my old one and that is what I use to film my like savings challenge videos with. So we've just been having difficulties with the YouTube stuff lately. So I had to buy a new mount. So that was $18.18 .18. that came out of my spending as well. And that was from Amazon. On the 16th, I bought Owen a couple of birthday presents. He is here in the next room. So I'm not gonna say what they were, but you can see it on the screen. So that was $87.67 that came out of our holiday and gift fund. Also on the 16th, Owen bought something on Roblox. I think this was something that Mark let him buy. I'm not sure if it was like an approved purchase or an accidental purchase, but that came out of our boy spending as well. And then also on the 16th, I bought some photos because I haven't printed off photos in such a long time. And there's this app called Free Prints um, where you just basically pay for the shipping and then you get the photos for free. But I think you only get like 80 at a time. I could be wrong on that number, but I ordered more than the amount that you get for free just because it had been so long since I ordered. And you can do like so many free ones a month. So I could have just waited and got more next month. But while I was doing it, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get all the ones I want to get. So that was $15 and 60 cents. And that came out of my family fund. On the 17th, we bought dinner at Chipotle. We all ate there this time. So that was $67 and 74 cents that came out of our eating out fund. Also on the 17th while we were out, we got gas for the car that Mark drives. So that was $49.14 from Racetrack and that came out of our car gas fund. Now we're on to the 18th. So Mark bought some lottery tickets. So that was $8. Um, this is for his like work pool. So when people from his work buy lottery tickets, they just all put their money together. So he sent that money through Venmo and that came out of his spending. Also on the 18th, I went to Publix and I bought some cat food. I also bought a few like little wet dog food things for our dog Lucy because she hasn't been feeling very well and I was trying to get her to eat a little bit more and she likes like wet food better than hard food. So I bought a few things for her, but most of this was cat food. So that was $59.18 out of our pet fund. And then on the 19th, we had a no spend day. So that was awesome. On the 20th, we went to Target to buy a birthday gift for one of Logan's friends. He was invited to a birthday party. So you spent $29.99 on a Lego set for him um, from Target and that came out of our holiday and gift fund. And then while we were at Target, we did buy some of our school supplies. This isn't everything that we need. I honestly pulled up the list and like all three boys were with me and they were just kind of going nuts and it was overwhelming. So I just grabbed a few things um, and then I was like, okay, we just have to get out of here. So it was $88.87 from Target and that came out of our school fund. And then on the 21st, we had another no spend day. So it wasn't a ton of transactions this week. All right, now let's look at all of our categories and see how much money we have left in each category. So for groceries, we started with $1,300 for the month. We did spend $321 this week. We only have $101 left, so that's not a lot. I'm hoping we can make it work. We may end up going a little bit over, but I'm going to try to make this work because um, we have been buying a lot of groceries this month, like the boys are just constantly eating. I don't know if it's because they're home more because it's summer. 
Um, Logan has also started doing cross country, so he's been running, which makes him hungrier, and they've been swimming a lot, which I know makes them hungrier too. So um, we've just been going through a lot of food, and um, I don't know, I'm hoping this will last, this $101 will stretch for the last week, because we don't need a ton. We have like snacks and drinks and stuff, and that's usually what we end up buying. I just may, may need to buy some actual like meal food, so um, hopefully I can make that work. For our pet spending, we started with $337. We did spend $60 this week, and we have $123 left, which is pretty good for us. For my spending, I started with $210. I spent $22 this week, and I have $97 left. For Mark's spending, he started with $234. He spent $8 this week, and he has $62 left, so he's doing pretty well also. And then the boys, they started with $359. We did spend a $35 this week, and they only have $7 left, which is not going to be enough for me to pay them for their chores for the last week. But um, just kind of a spoiler for my monthly budget closeout, I am going to go ahead and add some extra money to this. So in my weekly check-in next week, this will probably be negative from where I pay them for their chores. But um, for the second week of July for Mark's paycheck. It's higher than I actually budgeted for. He already got it. Um, he was paid on the 21st. So after I'm filming this, um, so he already got his paycheck and it was higher than I budgeted for because he ended up working. He was off one week and he ended up working one of the days and the week that he was off and they pay you a little bit extra if you pick up a day when you're off, um, because they just needed help. They were shorthanded. So he'll get a little bit of extra money from that. And then his raise also did go into effect on that paycheck. So he got a little bit of extra money. So I will be able to put some extra money into my boys spending fund. So it's going to be negative on next week's check-in, but I have it covered. So it's okay. Um, obviously anytime we get extra money, I would rather it go to like savings or debt, but if we have to cover some overage, then we will obviously do that so that we don't have to put spending on a credit card or something. For miscellaneous, we started with $53. We didn't spend anything this week and we have $41 left. Another option is I could spend some of the miscellaneous money on my boys' um, chores as well. So we'll see how we do that, but I'll probably just end up giving them some extra money into their fund anyway. For house bills, we started with $637. We spent $55 this week, and we have $204 left, and I don't think we have any other bills coming out this week. So all of this should be just rollover um, for July, or I mean for August. But I'm actually going to change the way I'm doing my sinking funds and like budgeting next month. So I'll talk about that when we get there, but I don't know if we're going to do rollover anymore. I might just add this money to sinking funds. Haven't decided 100%. So again, we'll talk about it when we get there, but we do have money left over, which is great. For car gas, we started with 306. We spent 50 this week and we still have 158 left. And I do know I will have to get gas in the last week. I'm not sure. I don't think Mark probably will. So um, this should be plenty for us. For car insurance and maintenance, we started with 706. We didn't spend anything this week, and I do need to get on top of fixing our windshield. I have not called a safe light yet, so I'm going to do that. A lot of you suggested calling them because they give much better prices, so I'm going to do that very soon so that I can hopefully get a lower price than what our car dealership quoted us for. So we have 586 left, even if that's not enough to cover it. Um, we do have our emergency fund, or I could just wait till August and put more money into this fund. So either way, we'll be fine there. For school, we started with $10,091. We spent $89 this week on school supplies, and we have $9,968 left. And we will be paying tuition this month. It's coming out, I think, on the 25th. So most of this money will be gone next time you see one of these check-ins. For a holiday and gift, we started with $423. We spent 118 this week and we are $34 over. But again, because Mark had a little bit of extra money on the paycheck or on his second paycheck, I will be able to cover this. So um, we still haven't bought Owen like his birthday cake or anything either. So that will probably come out of this as well and make it a little bit more negative. But again, I'm going to be adding more money into this fund because Mark got paid a little extra. So I'm leaving it negative for now so that you can see that I spent more than I plan to spend but we won't allow it to be negative for our budget check-in at the end of the month because I will add money in um, at that time. For eating out, we started with 248. We spent 68 this week. Uh, we didn't spend anything last week and we spent a lot the first week. So we still have 68 left though. So that should be enough to go out to eat one more time this month, hopefully. 
for house things, we started with 264. We didn't spend anything this week and we still have 163 left. For family, we started with 1,304. We only spent 16 this week on those photos and we still have 1,116 left. And then for dues and subscriptions, this is our last category. We started with 163. We didn't spend anything this week and we have 25 left. So we're doing pretty good. We are over on one category and we will probably end up being over on my boy spending. But again, I'm thankful that we have a little bit extra money to cover that. So overall, it's not too bad. I mean, I, I'm really hard on myself when we go over on stuff. I try not to complain too much about it, but in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're over. And I get mad at myself, but I'm trying not to do that because um, yes, we have a budget for a reason. We try to stick to the budget as much as possible, but life happens and you can't always like plan for every little thing. Like for our holiday and gift fund, obviously I knew it was Owen's birthday and that I would have to buy Owen's birthday gifts. But um, Logan wasn't invited to that birthday party until after I already made my July budget. So he was invited like the first week of July. So I didn't plan for buying another birthday gift for someone. So things like that happen and you just kind of have to be flexible and it's okay to move money around if you need to. Or if you do get extra money like we have to cover it, it's okay if you have to put some of that to overage instead of all of it to your financial goals because life happens, you can't always be perfect. And I'm trying to tell myself that. And for the most part, we do a really good job with sticking to our budget and going over a few dollars here and there is to be expected. Honestly, you can't be perfect all the time. So trying to tell myself that and be a little less stressed about overages. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.